Hi guys, I know it's been a while. As usual, I do videos sporadically. Um, what's my excuse? Just get editing videos. But anyway, because someone sent me um, a Facebook message saying you should do videos, and I do videos occasionally, I decided to um, come back on board and do these videos, uh, or do some videos at least. Um, I asked what videos should I do and someone said um, a spring summer look. Funnily enough, I live in the Caribbean, I live in Trinidad to be exact. And we don't have summer, but for some reason um, we call this time of year summer down here. But really and truly we don't have summer. What we have is um, dry season and rainy season. So right now we're transitioning from the dry season into the rainy season. and um, yeah, I guess this is a summer look, but it's already a, a rainy season look. <laughs> um, so, what I'll be doing is this eye right here, this look. It's for those of you who um, are stuck in the neutral zone, but want to play with some color, but you're not brave enough to go bold on the color. You just want that oomph, that touch of color. Um, this look is perfect for you. So what it is, it's a neutral eye lined or accented with color. And in this case, the color is blue to match my um, my psychedelic top. So stay tuned and you will see how I did this neutral eye with that pop of color. So I'll first be starting with my Kit Kate palette. And what I'll be using is this neutral color, or this light neutral color with an eyeshadow brush and I'll be putting it in the inner corner in a third or in a two third of my eye. It's a neutral beige sort of color. You tap your eyeshadows on so you get that pigmentation. Next I'll be going in with a more bronzy color here and I'll be putting that on the outer third of my eye and blending it in. No guys, I have a better camera, but uh, I never make videos with this. I need to get into this. Maybe I will one day. That's what it looks like. Now I'll be going in with a crease brush with a cork brown of sorts. I'll be putting it in the crease. Really adding that definition to the eye. Okay, you got that definition. Crease the eye. Oh, mama, smaller pencil brush. <laughs> Don't watch me from your side. A smaller pencil brush. Take a bit of that color again, that core color, and just go and define the inner part of the eye. Now with a fluffy brush we go back to the beige color we use on our lid. Let's see that the color 
over there. We're gonna put on our brow and doing a little to the crease to get a nice smooth transition and um, crease to brow. So basically what you have there is your typical neutral eye. But to excite the look a little and to bring it into the summer, aka the rainy season in Trinidad, but for you sophisticated Trinidadians, it's summer. <laughs> um, we are now going to take a bright blue and line the eye with it. So what you'll need to do the pop up color around your eyes is a very small flat swish brush. As you can see, this is a brush with a square tip. What you do is you damp it with either quick spray or some water. So I will pick up the eye to have it back there. I'm going to use this very bright blue from my Sixth Day palette. So it matches with the blue on my top. You can't see right now. And I'm going to go in there with the push brush and we're going to start lining my eye. Ready? Careful not to get any specks in your eye, but if you do, it shouldn't kill you. That's your allergic to eyeshadow as well. Alright, so I'm going to go to the bottom of my eye. Um, there you have that bright blue pop on your eye. To complete the look, I'm just going to put mascara on. If you really want to excite that look some more and add a real wow factor, you can go in with blue mascara, but just for um, catering for those who like to keep it simple, because I've been accused of being overly colorful and over the top in a drama queen. So, <laughs> for those of you who always want to keep it simple, I'm just going to go with a touch of black mascara. very soft neutral look with a bright blue eye. Um, in case you are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, give me one second, let me um, get it and tell you what it is. It's Arista's Matte Pink. As you can see, it's a very bright pink that works wonderfully with most um, brown skin girls like myself. I think it will also work well on very pale complexions. It's a very cute lipstick I'm definitely going to add it to my favorite and um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this look I hope you incorporate it into your summer um I keep saying summer I just keep so wrong I hope you incorporate it 
some of my American fingers um, and to wear summer makeup and uh, make a bit. So bye until my next video. <laughs>